All right, hi there. So um, what we're going to cover in this tutorial, this is going to be part one of the um, script modding tutorials I'm going to make for OMSI. Um, we're going to just cover basically how you modify the files without breaking any other modifications that have already been installed um, and stuff like that. Okay, so what you're going to need, which I'll include the links for underneath this video, is a program called Notepad++ and also its plugin called um, Compare. Okay, um, you find the links beneath this video, download it in the meantime, pause the video, install it, it's small but it's extremely powerful and I'll show you why. Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to take um, the MAN NL202, um, my modification of it, um, and we're going to take the stop bell, you know, the, when, when the passenger presses the button um, for the stop, uh, we're going to put it into a bus that <coughs> doesn't have it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up the sound config file, and we're going to open it with this notepad++. Okay, and then we're also going to take the sound config file of the, uh, which one shall we do? Um, sound config, sound config, QRST, there we go. Let's do the, um, the D88. Okay, edit with notepad. Um, <coughs> now, I already know where this is in my file. Um, it's at the bottom. Okay, so let's go. Here it is. Stop bell. Okay, we're just going to copy that. I'm going to say copy, and we're going to put it into the D88 file at the bottom. Okay, and just paste it in. Okay, so there we have <coughs> the actual um, sound config done. Now this is your trigger. Okay, this is a very important part. This is what tells the sound to play. Okay, and <coughs> the trigger for the stop bell is the stop request. So what we do is we copy that line, the, the stop request, and press Control F. Okay, and we say find in files, and we select our directory. So we are going to be searching because it's from uh, for the man nl202. We search the script directory of the man nl202, and we search for the word stop request, and we just say find all. Okay, there we go. It found it in four files. Okay, um, only two. The <laughs> it's uh, okay. You got to understand that. Um, I have obviously got my own modded files here, so ju don't worry about where it says door varlist one. We want door varlist, and we want door OSC. Those are the files that um, that it is in. So if we just double click that, it opens door OSC, and if we just double click this, it opens. Uh, I don't want door one. Um, door varlist. Here we go. Okay. So there's the two files. Now we need to open up under the D to, um, the SD202. We want the door varlist and door OSC for it. So if we go down to door, there's door OSC. Um, edit with Notepad, and we want door varlist. it with notepad. Right. So, here you can see, here is your trigger here. Okay, stop request played. There's your trigger, stop request. And it falls under that part of the script, the stop light, the little lamp that lights up on your dashboard. So, let's go to the door OSC for the SD202. Uh, and let's just find that in here. Ugh, not stop request. Got to paste the new one in. There we go. Oh. Right. So there, from where these little um, marks are here, these little apostrophes, that is 
the beginning of the script. That next apostrophe is the next script. So all we're going to do, we're going to take it from here, and we're going to copy it down to the bottom. Copy, and then paste. Okay. So now you've modified your door OSC. Right, so we can save that, and we can close it. I'm going to close the other one as well, the one from the NL202. Now, door wireless, it's just one line. Copy it, and you can just paste it in at the bottom over here. And save it. Alright, now we can close all these files. We've finished. That's it. That was all the That's the whole sound uh, done. What we need, though, is the actual sound file, which is... Um, the stop bell wav, so we copy that and we put that into the sound of the SD202 paste. Okay, so there we go, it's done. Okay, now let's just test that. I've just got to quickly change what um, my playback device is and put it onto speakers because I'm wearing a headset. Set default, there we go. That way you guys will hear it. So let's test this out. Now we've put it into the D88. So let's see what happens. If I've screwed up, the game's going to crash. <laughs> if I haven't screwed up, we're going to have a stop bell in the D88, which it never had in the first place. Oh, I hope when they release an update to this, this game loads quicker. Come on. Okay. Right, so let's load the D88. I can actually close that while it's uh, doing that. I can close that. I can close that. Right. Come on. So we choose man. And wait for that to load. Come on. Come on. It's taking long. There we go. And we want the D88. So there's the SD88. Now we'll see immediately if we've screwed up. Because the game should crash when we select it. If it doesn't crash, it means we've done right. And it's not going to crash, so there we go. Let me just go OK. It doesn't matter where we go. Okay, let's go into the bus, switch on the electrics, and then let's just, uh, do I have any more volume on here? Yes, I do. Where's this? There we go, it played. So, that just proves, let me just, okay, can't get the bloody doors to open for some reason. Ugh. Okay, don't worry. Um, there's the um, the sound in there. Um, my doors are screwed up at the moment though because, I'll tell you why, I've been screwing with this bloody script. Okay, there we go. That's reset it. So, if we go back to there, we play it again, there we go. Okay, so that's part one of the tutorial, um, how to copy parts from other scripts. Um, I'll go into more depth in the next few tutorials on how to mod without breaking your buses.